Good evening, everyone. It is Friday, June 12th, and my name is Chris Paul, and this is Compline Prayer. It is the final prayer service for the daily office, and we are doing this on behalf of, or I am doing this on behalf of the Trinity Episcopal Church in Elkridge, Maryland. We offer Compline Prayer Service every Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. by either myself or Brother Les Roberts, and we offer morning prayers every Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. by uh, Reverend Ann or Deacon Frank. We also have a Sunday service at 10 a.m. on Sunday that we do on Zoom. You can get connected to that by going to the Trinity Episcopal Church Elkridge Facebook page for the link to the Zoom meeting if you'd like to join us. Or you can um, see the video. We try to stream it live to Facebook, but often it has to go up as a recording afterwards on Facebook. And you can check out any of our services and some of the wonderful sermons that our clergy have delivered by going to our YouTube channel. Compline, again, it's the final prayer service in the uh, daily office. We begin in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127, or you can go to bcponline.org and under the table of contents, go into Compline, which is under the daily office. Or you can just relax and listen to the prayers in the comfort of your home. Let us take a moment to catch our breath, and we will begin on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this evening can be found in the middle of page 129. We will say Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word for this evening can be found at the bottom of page 131 from Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Continuing in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night 
so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continuing in the middle of page 134, O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we offer time for you to offer any prayers that you would like, whether you wish to speak them aloud to the Lord or in your heart, or if you prefer to type them into the chat box, we can add them to our prayers as well. We want to offer prayers this evening for the Order of St. Francis, who had their convocation this week. We hope Brother Les and all of his brothers are doing well. We want to offer continued prayers for all those who are struggling with the coronavirus. We know those numbers do continue to rise, and we pray for all those who are ill or have family and friends who are ill. We continue to pray for all of our frontline workers, and we continue to pray for the safety of those who are beginning to open back up in society, that everyone will continue to remain safe, continue to wear their per personal protection items, such as masks, and will continue to maintain a level of caution as we open up. We offer prayers for all of those who are continuing in the struggle against the systemic racism in this country and for the continued safety of all of the men and women who work in our emergency services and police services that are on the side of equality and justice and dignity, that all they and the peaceful protesters as well are able to remain safe. It seems as though it's very difficult to often see the other side in circumstances like this, and we ask the Lord to help give us the ability to take a breath, to listen to one another, and to seek to be healed in our divisions, that we can see each other as equals and grow in love and humanity. Although it is difficult this evening, we offer prayers for those we might think of as our enemies. O God, the Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. As we head into this weekend, we ask again prayers for social justice. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I like to end the week with the prayer for, that is attributed to St. Francis. I think it summarizes what we all are needing a little bit more of right now. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Let us continue together on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, 
to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. That concludes our Compline prayer for this evening. Thank you again so much for taking the time to tune in. We will be back Monday morning at 8.30 with Mother Anne and Deacon Frank for morning prayers, as we will every morning, Monday through Friday of next week at 8.30. And I will be back Monday at 8.30 p.m. for Compline prayer, which myself and Brother Les will offer every Monday through Friday of next week at 8.30 p.m. Again, if you are looking for Sunday service, it will be at 10 a.m. via Zoom. More information found on the Trinity Episcopal Church in Elkridge uh, Facebook page. Have a wonderful and healthy, safe, blessed weekend. Be well to all of you. God bless.